Hello everyone, subscribe to the channel, drop a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments your predictions for the Liverpool Arsenal clash in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. And we are getting started right now. Kingsley Coman has extended his contract with Bayern Munich until 2027, according to the club's official website. Roma have finalized the loan of forward midfielder Sergio Oliveira. Giallo Rossi are allowed to buy out the player at the end of the season for 15 million euros. Man United is going to make an offer for a mentioned Gladbach star Danny Zakaria. There are devils in town to sign the 25-year-old player before the end of the month, as Sport Ains informs. Juventus won't let Alvaro Morata go to Barcelona. The Turin club doesn't plan to part with a Spanish striker in January. Former Atletico Madrid centre-back Diego Godin has signed for Atletico Mineiro as a free agent. This is a one-year deal with an option to extend it for another year. Aston Villa have signed Everton left-back Lucas Dean for 27 million euros, according to Fabrizio Romano. Football agent Mina Raiola was urgently operated on and is currently in critical condition. The reason for the surgery is yet unknown. Real Betis announced the contract extension with their leader Nabil Fekir until 2026. Manchester United defender Eric Bailly is ready to join Milan on loan. Negotiations between the two clubs are going well, as Gianluca Di Marzio reports. Lionel Messi continues to recover from the coronavirus, hence he can miss the next PSG match. Three Brazilian clubs are interested in Real Madrid's left-back Marcelo, Fluminense, Palmeiras and Botafogo. The 33-year-old player's contract ends next summer. PSG cannot agree on a contract extension with their leader, Prince Al Kimpembe. The current deal expires in summer 2024. The Parisians can therefore put up the player for sale, according to L'Equipe. Historically, this club has always targeted the best players in the world, and it always was attractive to them. The thing hasn't changed. Mikel Arteta said at his press conference amid interest in Vlahovic. Barcelona winger Usman Dembele won't leave the club during this transfer window, although he wants to do so in the summer as soon as his contract ends. Chelsea centre-back Antonio Rüdiger decided to stay at Stamford Bridge. However, the 28-year-old German still maintains contact with representatives of Paris Saint-Germain. As Christian Falk informs, Inter striker Lautaro Martinez scored each of his three goals against Juventus in different tournaments – Serie A, Italian Cup and Super Cup. 39-year-old English striker Germain Defoe has left Rangers and became a free agent, according to the Scottish club's press service. Barcelona striker Luke de Jong scored in each game of the new year so far for his club. The Dutchman has already scored three goals in three games. Bayer Leverkusen's left-winger Moussa Diaby is set to move for a new challenge this summer as he wants to play regularly in the Champions League. Massimiliano Allegri was one step away from being appointed as head coach at Real Madrid. Everything was sad last May, and the only thing was missing was his signature in the contract. He eventually decided to return to Juventus. Allegri's agent Giovanni Brancini said. The Spanish Super Cup match became the 1000s in Dani Alves' career. According to journalist Pedro Martin, Arsenal is currently in discussion with Juventus about the loan of Brazilian midfielder Arthur Melo. As the Mirror informs, Hamas Rodriguez saved the life of Qatari al wakra defender Usman Koulibaly. The player collapsed minutes before the end of the first half. Before the doctors arrived, Hamas positioned the Malian's head correctly so that he could continue to breathe normally. Real Madrid beat Barcelona in the fifth match in a row. This happened only the second time in history. The last such winning streak of Las Blancas was in the period from 1962 to 1965. Marcus Rashford should speak to Cristiano Ronaldo and ask him for advice. You have to talk to your teammates because that cycle of bad form can go on and on, former Man United striker Dimitar Berbatov told The Sun. Lille's attacking midfielder Yusuf Yazidji joined CSK Moscow. The deal was confirmed by the Turks' agent. Borussia Dortmund have included Chelsea centre-back Andreas Christensen in their transfer target shortlist. The 25-year-old Dane will possibly become a free agent next summer. Real Madrid achieved the 100th victory over Barcelona in the 248th El Clasico last night. The Godlands have 96 victories and 52 games ended up in a draw. I'm very positive about Salah and his contract extension. Even our fans are not as nervous as you, journalists. BBC quoted Liverpool head coach Jurgen Klopp. 
Atletico Madrid striker Luis Suarez may leave Wanda Metropolitano this month and move to Saudi Arabia. Before that happens, Los Colchoneros intend to find a replacement. Yesterday we had several great matches, including the spectacular El Clasico. Let's have a look at the results. And now we move on to the main news of the episode. First, let's talk about yesterday's matches. Chelsea defeated Tottenham in the second leg of the English Carabao Cup semi-final, 0-1. The only goal was scored by Antonio Rüdiger. The Blues won 3-0 on aggregate and reached the final. The Italian Super Cup brought us another battle between Inter and Juventus. The Nerazzurri won 2-1, with Alexis Sanchez scoring the winner in the 121st minute, just like in the movie. Well, speaking of great movies, the thriller of the day became Spanish El Clasico between Barcelona and Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup semifinals. Vinicius opened the score in the 25th minute, but the Catalans responded with Luke de Jong's shot 15 minutes later. The game was pretty close and intense until the 72nd minute, when Karim Benzema scored and unleashed a real war out there. And yet, last-minute siege from Blaugranas was successful, as Ansu Fati, who's back again, scored from header seven minutes before the end of regular time, thus taking the battle to the extra time. The game capped the high intensity for the additional 30 minutes, during which Federico Valverde came to the forefront for Yal and decided the outcome of El Clasico, scoring after a rapid counter-attack in the first half of extra time. 2-3 at the end. Los Blancos head to the finals. Despite the defeat, Barcelona got more positive press after the game, and the Catalans head coach Xavi admitted that his team played better than Real Madrid. We are very angry and upset. We dominated Real Madrid, who were just sitting back in their own box. Barcelona were better in this match. We lost, but got rid of our complexes. El Cheringuita quoted Barca's coach. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti, however, strongly disagreed with Xavi's words and gave the following verdict on the game. Does Xavi think that Barca dominated? This is not true. The match was equal and we deserved to win. We knew it would be difficult for us, but the game was fun and we enjoyed it," Ancelotti said. Erling Haaland's transfer saga is underway. According to the latest info from ESPN and journalist Gianluca Di Marzio, Real Madrid have become the favorites to sign the Borussia Dortmund superstar. The Royal Club will focus on Holland immediately after they sign Kylian Mbappe, whose generous contract, by the way, is already prepared at Real Madrid. In addition, the sources provide an interesting remark. Los Marenguis are ready to abandon their secondary target, Chelsea centre-back Antonio Rüdiger, as they are gonna be fully focused on signing Erling Holland. Scotland journalist Tony Juan Marti has in turn his own version. He claims that Barcelona maintain a leading position for the Norwegian top scorer, albeit Blaugrana still have to find the money for this huge transfer. As for Holland himself, his goals remain the same. The 21-year-old Norwegian wants to be the leader of the project, and Real Madrid won't be able to guarantee this because of Mbappe. That's the reason Barca remains the perfect choice for Erling. Liverpool winger Mohamed Salah, in an interview with GQ magazine, shared his opinion about the Ballon d'Or. I don't really care about individual words. Yes, of course, I want to be the best player in the world. I'm not gonna lie, saying that I never thought about it. But I'll anyway remain a happy person even if I never win the Ballon d'Or. Sometimes it seems to me that this is all about politics. The main thing is that everything is good in my life, Salah admitted. It appears that the Egyptian is also in the ranks of the huge number of people outraged that Lionel Messi received the 2021 Ballon d'Or instead of Robert Lewandowski. Paris Saint-Germain head coach Mauricio Pochettino is still in touch with Manchester United representatives, according to Le Parisien. The Argentinian manager is considering the possibility of taking over the English club in case he manages to leave Paris next summer, thus replacing Ralf Rangnick at Old Trafford, whose coaching methods concern many United players very much. Mauricio is aware that PSG board wants to invite Zinedine Zidane instead of him, so Pochettino doesn't intend to work with the club to the end of his contract. That means he is willing to cede the post to Zidane and step away from the conflict in the team, as there is already a poor atmosphere in the club's dressing room caused by Lionel Messi, Neymar and other Latin American footballers. Pochettino is convinced that it will be easier to work with Man United players, although his plans may be hampered by a worthy competitor from Ajax, Eric Ten Hag, who is also on the list of possible candidates for the work at Old Trafford. 
That is it for today, friends. Do not forget to watch new videos from our other projects. Enjoy the show! And that was Football News. Have a nice one, and see ya right in a bit.